Okay, so here we are, um, still accentuate the negative, problem 1.1, we're on B1A. Um, this problem lists the current scores for each of the three teams, and it asks us to write a number sentence to represent the sequence of points starting with the current score. So you can see here for, for B1A, the super brains have um, a current score right here of negative 300 for super brains, and then they have this sequence shown in the table. Uh, they answer a 200 point question correctly, then a 150 point question incorrectly, and that is followed by two 50 point questions correctly. So if we're going to write a number sentence starting with negative 300, I'll go ahead and write my negative 300. Each sequence of points, um, we can determine if it's a positive or a negative because we would um, add positive points and subtract incorrect points. So we, after um, the, the starting point of negative 300, we have negative, or excuse me, a, a positive 200. So I'm going to add 200 points. And then they have a negative 150 because they scored that one incorrectly. And then they have these two 50 point um, questions that they scored correctly. So we'll add 50. And I'm just running out of space here and they'll add 50 again. And we just barely squeezed that in there. So the next part of this question is actually um, I believe it is uh, 1.1B2, it's going to ask you for the, the scores at this point in the game. So we are going to go ahead and calculate the score using the blank number line that's here. They started off with negative 300 points. So I'll go ahead and just put my little dot right here above negative 300. If we're adding um, points, then we will go to the right, we'll go in the positive direction. And if we are subtracting points, then we'll go to the left on the number line um, to show that that is a deduction of points. Remember that this number line is set up with increments or intervals of 50 points. So every jump to the right is positive 50 and every jump to the left is a negative 50. So after this negative 300, we're going to add 200 points. So I can count by 50s or I can in my head think, okay, well, if we're um, dealing with intervals of 50, how many jumps would that take in order to get to 200? So 50 times 4 is 200, so I know that's going to be 4 jumps. So starting with negative 300, we'll go 50, 100, 150, 200. That takes us to negative 100 points. At this point, we'll just continue through this number sequence, um, either adding or subtracting the points that they um, earned. So after the, the positive 200, we're going to go back 150. So I'm here at negative 100, and we'll go 50, 100, 150. That takes us to this point here at negative 250. And then they had two questions correct for 50 points each. So from here, I'm just going to do both. 50 for the first one and 50 for the second one. And that takes us right down in line with a current score after this sequence of scores of negative 150 points for super brains. Okay, I am back and I have erased the number line from Super Brains and now we're looking at rocket scientists. Rocket scientists started off at 150 points and then they go through this series of um, answers. They scored uh, negative, uh, they scored incorrectly a 50 point question, so I'm going to subtract 50 points. Then they had another incorrect, so that's another subtraction of 200 points this time. Then they had a correct answer for 100 points, so I'll add that. And then finally they have here um, 150 incorrect, so that is a subtraction. So we will put minus 150. Now just like we did for the first one for super brains, We'll use our number line. 
We can start at 150, so they're here to begin the current score, and then we will just follow the jumps as they take us. Remember that when we subtract the points, we're going to go to the negative direction left on the number line, and when we're adding points, we're going to the right on the number line um, for positive. So here we're at 150, we're going to jump back 50 points, then we're going to jump back another 200, so that's 50, 100, 150, 200. At that point, they scored correctly for 100, so we'll go 50, 100, and then they scored a negative 150, so I'm going to go back 50, 100, 150, and that takes us right down to negative 150 points. So at this point in the game, they are tied with the rocket scientists. All right, and that brings us to the last team, the know-it-alls. They are currently at negative 500, so I'm going to put my starting point right here. Oop, that didn't want to work for me, so I'll put my starting point here, negative 500. And we'll do the exact same thing, except it looks like they're going to take us off of the... Um, off of this particular number line because they're starting from negative 500 and then they get some problems incorrect. So we will do our best to just kind of squeeze this on here knowing that each jump is still um, intervals of 50 points. So if we go back here to jumps of 50 points, that will take us back 100 and it will be off of the number line. So we'll start with our number sentence. They have a negative 500. We get that information from the problem that's given to us right up here. And then they um, score negative 100. Uh, positive 200. You'll have to excuse the writing. It's kind of hard with the mouse. Um, negative 150. And finally, negative 50. So here we are at our starting point of negative 500, and we would go back two jumps to negative 100. That would be at negative 600. So I'll even go ahead and write that in here, even though our number line doesn't actually go back that far. Then from there, they get a positive 200. Remember, there are four groups of 50 and 200, so that's four jumps. So that's 50, 100, 150, 200. Then they get a negative 150. So that would be one, two, three jumps back and then another negative 50 points. So that takes them right back to negative 600 points. So the know-it-alls are at negative 600. The super brains and rocket scientists are both tied for negative 150. So I can show that both of the other teams are at negative 150. Remember, the further left you go on the number line, the lower the number. So at this point, the know-it-alls have the worst score at negative 600, and the rocket scientists and super brains are tied, zero difference, at negative 150. All right, and problem 1.1b continues on with two more parts to this question. Uh, we already answered the, the first part, um, number two, at this point in the game, which team has the highest and which team has the lowest scores. Um, we determined, based on the sequence of scores, that the super brains and rocket scientists were tied at negative 150, which is here on the number line and the know-it-alls had negative 600. So the highest scoring team would be the two furthest to the right at negative 150, super brains and rocket scientists, and then the know-it-alls would have the lowest score of negative 600. To complete this part of the problem, it says to find the difference in points for each pair of teams. Well, the super brains and rocket scientists is really easy to find the difference because they have the same score, therefore there is no difference. The um, difference between the know-it-alls and both of the other teams can be determined by using a number line, which I have already set up. We know that the know-it-alls are at negative 600 and the other two are here at negative 150. We also know that the number line we've been using has intervals of 50. So you can start at either spot and count by 50 
or you can count the number of jumps and then multiply by 50. Either way would work just fine. So if we start at negative 600 and we go to the right to negative 150, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 jumps, 9 jumps times 50 points per jump. 9 times 5 is 45, and x is 0, which means to plot that 0 right on the end. And the difference in points is 450 points um, between the know-it-alls and the other two teams. It is not positive or negative because we're just finding the difference between the two.